This is the new Audi S8. Now, Audi has just updated the S8 and the normal A8 as part of a midlife facelift. I'm gonna talk you through all the upgrades. Also gonna talk you through the exterior, the interior. I'm gonna test out the car's practicality. I'm gonna do all the usual reviewing stuff, such as drive it and launch it, see how quick it is from zero to 60 miles an hour. So, as part of the revisions, Audi has given the car some new tail lights. They now feature OLED technology and they have different graphics in them depending on which driving mode you're in. Also, the car's a proximity sensor at the rear, so if another vehicle gets within two meters of it, then the rear lights illuminate further. Now, here's a little clip of that happening. Now, I can't show you here because it's just too bright. You won't see it. Now, as part of the revisions, there's also a redesigned rear bumper. You get some chrome trim on it now. This being the S8, you get S8 badging here and quad tailpipes. And the good news is there's no fake exhaust here and you've got these lovely chrome surrounds. I like that. What I don't like, though, is this diffuser because that is totally fake. I mean, it looks rubbish. Moving down the side, hardly anything has changed really. doesn't really need to. It's a good looking car. You do get new alloy wheel designs. They start from 18 inches, which is too small, right into 21s. These are on the 20s and they look pretty nice. I think you're going to need at least 20s to feel these wheel arches. Moving down the side, there's some of the paint schemes available as well. Nine new ones in total, including five of which are matte. And everyone knows that anything that's called matte we also got some new headlight designs compared to the pre-facelift version and they're a bit higher up. And it's also made the grille slightly bigger. I don't know how they manage that. It already takes up the whole front of the car, but apparently it is slightly bigger. And the design within the grille is different to before. And the S8 has its own unique design. There's redesigned front bumpers as well compared to the pre-facelift version. And this S-Line obviously is a bit more aggressive than the standard cars with bigger vents and stuff like that. You can also get an S-Line version, which is like a halfway house between the normal A8 and the more aggressive looking S8 here. So. But if it's horsepower, you're after, you need this engine here. It's a four litre twin turbo, puts out 571 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. Now all A8s have quattro all wheel drive and an eight speed automatic gearbox. And this S8 benefits further from a rear limited slip differential. Now that should help you put the power down when you're accelerating out of corners and in a straight line. And we'll see just how quick this car is in reality when I launch it in a bit. To make the car easy to get in and out of, when you unlock it and go to get in, Watch, it raises up on its suspension. Whoop, there we go! And then obviously when you shut the door, if you've got soft close, mm, premium, and then go to drive off, it automatically lowers again. Still is a nice square shape, there's not too much of a lift to lift things over, and you do have this scuff plate here so that you don't scratch your paintwork if you're dragging things out of it. And there's various tie down points which feel secure and solid, you can get nets and a storage area there. The S8 comes as standard with special predictive suspension, so a camera reads the road ahead, it can see bumps, and the suspension automatically lifts up the wheels when you go over them, so the car remains completely flat, it doesn't go. Here on the inside, there are only two changes for this facelifted A8. The first is that instead of using Alcantara here and here, it's now Damica, which is another man-made material. Another change is that the S8 now has a three-spoke instead of a four-spoke steering wheel. However, I can see one, two, three, and four spokes. This is what the steering wheel used to look like, so I guess it is different. But other than that, everything is as it was before, which is not a bad thing because the inside of the A8 is lovely. It looks cool, it's minimalist, quality is exceptional, and you've got this infotainment screen here, which is fairly easy to use, and you've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, then you've got your climate controls here. Not quite so easy to use, but it's all okay, and you've got a lovely digital driver's display there. However, the tech on board just doesn't feel quite as futuristic as the tech you can get. Can't fault the A8 is comfort though the seats are lovely these are the upgraded sports seats but you've got the s logo in boston on very nice and yeah you've also got some decent storage here the door bins are big and some storage under here and you've got your wireless charging there you've got your usb-c ports there you've got some cup holders here as well here are the back seats of the a8 there's plenty of room so look good headroom good knee room plenty of luxuries like blinds and a control panel you've also got seat controls 
big transmission tunnel, which means you have to go with legs akimbo, which isn't very dignified. Now you can get this car with a rear infotainment package so you can get some removable screens that attach to the front seat backs. And you can actually mirror your phone screen onto them so you can just do your work or if you want, you can stream Netflix or YouTube or whatever on there. If you want to carry rear passengers a lot, say if you're a chauffeur, you're going to want the long wheelbase version of this car because it has about that much more rear knee room. In fact, you can recline the back seats even more than in this car so you can get into your ideal position. In the pre-facelift version of the A8, this control panel which allows you to operate the rear seats, the entertainment system, all that kind of thing. It used to be removable, a little tablet, really cool, because when it comes out, you can operate it in your hand and put it back. You can get the long wheelbase version of the ad 8 with an electrically deployable footrest for the rear passenger, which also massages your calves and heats your legs. You've heard of Matrix LED headlights, right? Well, how about Matrix LED reading lights? Well, that's exactly what this A8 has here in the back. So you've got a selection of LEDs just up there, and you can use this touchpad here to control exactly where they illuminate. You told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see what this Audi S8 is like on the Autobahn. So what I'm going to do is actually reset the trip computer there. Come on, reset. Now I'm going to floor it. Come on. It's amazing how this just picks up. It's got all the luxury and all the performance. Here we go. We're going to reach the speed limiter now. There we go, hit a wall at 260. Yeah, 263, that's basically 264, 265. That's the speed limiter. Hey, all the blocks. We maxed it out, I hit the electronic speed limiter. We did what we came to do. 18.8 litres per 100 kilometres during that session of heavy acceleration and high speed. What is that in miles per gallon? I have no idea. And it says this car doing 0-60 in 3.8 seconds. But what's the reality? I'm going to launch it. Let's find out. Here we go. Oh, it's good. Oh, nice gear change. 3.59 for the win. Well, there you go. That's really impressive now, isn't it? You can get the Audi A8 with rear wheel steering, which makes it more manoeuvrable than you'd imagine such a big car to be. Now it comes as standard on the S8 and the A8 full sprung, but you can get it optionally on the other models as well. This car isn't just designed for hooning up the autobahn. It's going to be luxurious and relaxing when you're just driving around town. Now this is a great place to try out the suspension, so I'm going to go into comfort mode. Now roads are better than that. Let's go back the other way. The steering's nice and light. This car's quite manoeuvrable. Gearbox. I don't even know it's got a gearbox. It could be an electric car. It's so smooth. Don't notice any changing in gear. Pure relaxation. Here's another one. I've got to do it again without hitting the cyclist. Sorry. So then, what's my final verdict on the revised Audi A8? Well, I reckon you should shortlist the A8. It really is a lovely luxury car, and it's especially lovely with this S8. Stealthy performance. Click on the pop out banner up there to get a car out to see how much you can save on a new car. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Also, comment below any kind of other videos you'd like us to do.